Round four of the Platinum Tour this week at Torrey Pine South. We played decently well, coming off a really good round three. We are on the back tees once more. Pin set four, high winds out of the southeast. Fairways are very firm, greens are very firm, and the greens are fast. So, similar to round three, it's going to be tough sledding. The winds are going to be a little more friendly, but like it's been every round thus far this week, fairways are going to be at a premium. Now I'm going to preface again like we did round two. The swing is uh, something that we're fighting. But fight, we will. So let's get this kicked off. Let's try and get a nice one in the fairway and get things rolling. I will take that. That may not look like we've been fighting, but just just you wait. <laughs> just you wait. I, I mean, I hope, I, hope I, I look like a fool in that regard. I hope that we're able to pull off a miraculous round where every shot is exactly as straight and as perfect as we want it to be. But uh, I'm, I'm quite realistic. I know that's not at all going to be how this goes. So we're going to fight it out. We're going to see what we can do here. We've got about uh, probably about 11, 11 miles an hour of wind in the face. I think if we give this a little bit of D-loft, we should be able to get it up close to close to pin high. Yep, there's the there's the block shot. Under hit block. We're gonna have a long right to lefter here. So that's that's where the fight has been. That's where the fight has been. Tempo and also keeping the swing plane off of that right hand push and into a very uh, straight line is obviously what we're hoping for. But I thank you all for being here. You guys have been uh, wishing me luck, been very supportive, both on, on Twitch and on YouTube. So I continue to thank you all for uh, being simply the best. So we've got this right to lefter. I know it's got to come off the line. Something like here. Come on, man. Not a bad read. Not a bad read. We don't get one on the first, but a nice little lag and a good look at it. All right, now if we go... See, this is like one... If you were... If you were a very good player with your overpowered drives you might just try and go for this but we are not an overpowered we're not an overpowered driver so if we take like a four iron here bounce it out and give ourselves a wedge to the back could maybe even go three hybrid that might be a little bit much so yeah, we'll take four iron here. Try and find center fairway. There's the there's the fast we've been speaking of, so. The first swing, a little bit of an anomaly. Obviously, you hate for it to be that way. You would love everything to just be hunky-dory and every swing be the greatest swing that you've ever had, but it's just simply not how golf works. Gonna have our off days like this. Now, on the bright side here, we do have a lot of left to right, so as long as there is some roll on it, which I'm actually gonna give it some, some topspin so I can hit it fairly straight on with some roll. Let this kind of Roll left to right down the hill here. Uh, 
Now stop rolling. Alright, we will absolutely take that shot. We will absolutely take that shot and then slam the putt up and in center cup. Get our birdie on the second. So we did block that one a little bit out to the right. Fortunately, though, you know, that block still allows it to, uh, to get there. We would have been a little bit more up the hill. Probably would have been further down. Worked out to our advantage, but I didn't want to be, like, pin-seeking on that. I think you need to utilize the contours of the green. 7-iron is going to carry down 199, but the wind is going to be playing slightly in. So you've got about 12 mile an hour, and then it's downhill. So I think you have to play it a good ways out here. can probably play it because it goes left to right. 199. It's going to be back, and then 9 yards. Well, nice, nice swing here. Need a good one. Just be, be, be it. Because we hit the swing that we wanted. It's a little bit shorter and a little bit too far right. So I don't know if we're going to feed all the way down. We are. All right. I thought about giving it a little bit of D-loft, but that 7-iron doesn't D-loft well. Being a little bit more to the left might have kept us up on the shelf, but from down here, it's just a long putt, but it's not a not a heavily moving putt. There's like a ever so slight left to right at the start, but this thing is mostly mostly right to left. So I'm going to put it just a little bit outside on the right. Oh, what is that push? Hopefully, uh, I needed that. <laughs> All right. Well, Doctor, I think that means you're going to win a heist. So, yeah, a little, bit, uh, a little bit of help there from the swing plane. We blocked that one way out there. Maybe, maybe we'll say the subconscious was at work. You know, maybe the subconscious there was able to... To drive that one home. I thought when I when I had that input, my thumb told me mega fast. You heard a putt drop, said you did, and a long one at that. I know, I know. Not uh not often you don't hear the clank of the putter twice. But we pulled the putt off. 151. Wind plays a little bit. So this pitching wedge is going to be long. Because no, if we play this short, I don't think I don't think the gap wedge gets up. So let's maybe... Okay, if we're anywhere in between, everything kind of feeds. Everything kind of feeds, so it becomes a question of how much is that wind going to play, and I think touch a loft and a little bit of backspin. It will go right to left here. Come on. And then back down towards the hole. I know it's downhill behind. Okay, five footer, one inch down. We're gonna play pace on this. I just don't want to ever give a putt like this the chance to do anything but go in the hole. I'm just never gonna play that game. All right, three under through four. I'd say that's a pretty good fight to start, but we've got plenty of holes left, so we got to keep it up. Play this one just outside. Okay. Uh, 
That'll play. That'll play, that'll play, that'll play. Pin tucked on the right-hand side, though, with right-to-left wind is gonna be a tough ass. Now, we have uphill to the hole, so... I think that means that we can play a little bit of loft on the pitch. Because the other option is going to be trying to loft a lob wedge in, and then we run the risk of spinning it backwards and spinning it all the way off the green. So, I think with this shot... I think with this shot, we're going to try something in this... In this vein. Slight loft. It's going to be uphill on the green, but... Settle. Okay, that's pretty... That's pretty good. It's just like, how is this going to play at our feet? And I think we can play this one probably right edge with a lot of pace. Okay, that was maybe a little bit too much right edge, but I just didn't know how I was going to play at my feet. Hey, what's going on, Casey? Welcome back, coach. Don't know why you were trying to give me putting tips last week after your putting. <laughs> your putting was, the, was not the greatest this week, Seb. <laughs> It's all good, man. It's probably still better than mine. It's probably still better than mine, if we're being completely honest. Fourth in proximity, miscut by four. I, I could accomplish that feat. I could definitely accomplish that feat. I am one of the worst putters on tour. You put me, you put me seven foot out, good luck. <laughs> you put me seven foot out. All all bets might just be off. Uphill. I'm gonna give just a little bit of loft. Actually, let's let's set the aim up first. Let's set the aim up first here. Come on, four iron. Treat me right. Push fast. So the two kind of cancel. I just needed to run up this hill. Come on, climb. And stay up. Please stay up. Woo! Woo! We're up there. We're up there. I shouldn't have put the loft on it. I should have let it just ride. That it wasn't your fault, it was the green? I mean, that's probably the, like, mindset that'll, you know, hopefully help you going forward. But if it is actually, if it is actually you, then you might have some problems. Ah, rounds are going alright this week. We've had two, the first two rounds we left a lot of strokes out there. We left only, like, one or two strokes out on the, on the third round shot really well relative to the conditions and uh, trying to bring it home. We're fighting the swing again today. But so far, finding scores. Turn off green grids for next week? Seb, you know wh why. <laughs> <laughs> just play Trusa. If you don't want green grids, just play Trusa. Why are you doing that to yourself? If if you're playing like CC or something, sure, but don't play don't play plat without green grids. That was fast. But another push, so that's like that's two in a row there that we get the push fast. Which is an odd combination for me. I'm very much so a pull fast or a push slow. I really like to, you know, miss a lot in the same direction. That's how I prefer it. You did play Trusim, put about 20 times better. Yeah, but Trusim, 
the greens are also about 20 times more forgiving most of the time, so... I'm just I'm just trying to understand like how much how much have we thought this through and how I suppose how committed are we to this this concept? All right, we might be a little bit long, but I think I like this shot better. Okay. We're just like continuing on this trend of push fast and it's working, but like that is not at all what I'm trying to hit. Because as soon as those start to go together, it's rough. Now nine feet, I wish I could say that nine feet was like a, a distance that I, I loved, but this is where, this is where our putting starts to really starts to really struggle. All right, we're gonna go here. It's always like that. It's always like that, right? Right across the face. Like a, like a quick pimp slap, right across the face. I hate it. Try for a week in elite because you'd rather not see the break than have one ghost break. <laughs> the the singular ghost break is that triggering to you? I'm going to give just a touch of loft on this because I think it'll bounce into this and release up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to play it stock. I'd rather have the little downhiller because I think it rolls all the way back down. It's probably fast enough to do that. We slowed it. We're going to be uh, to the right. Okay, so I could have played the loft. This is now We've got to be we've got to be very mindful here cuz it's very firm and slightly downhill and it's 155s. I'm okay just lagging this up. I would obviously love to hold this. I would obviously love to hold this, but low anyway are you kidding me that doesn't stop yeah i'm i'm pissed too guy i'm pissed too Huge save. Huge save. But, like, that shouldn't be that difficult. It shouldn't be that difficult. What are we doing? So, yeah, like, I'm on that, on that approach shot. We slow it and we're out to the right. I didn't play loft on it because I thought the way that it would hit into that upslope, it wouldn't roll through so much to get to the fringe. I thought it would die pretty quick. But I guess, like, I guess at the end of the day, being below the hole there is probably what you want. Also, 4-iron doesn't get there, and 3-hybrid is too long. Uh, so do we rather the chip up the hill? Because I can carry this out about 225, and then, like, then it really dies on the fairway. If you take this shot... 
you land like pretty close and they just roll back and have a downhill putt, so. I don't know, like do you, is, is center green just the safer play? Like just find the green rather than potentially be short and chipping or like be splashing or, I don't know, being below the hole though, you have uphill to work with. This is a very course management uh, question here. Because it's going to feed all to that back right. I'm going to go four iron. It's fast, though. Yeah, I mean, that's just a bad input. Now, not being in the sand is probably about as bad as it gets for us here. I think so long as we can get it, like, onto the front part of the green, it should release. So if we're talking 60% lie, though... About 7 yards... To be short, so we've got to aim past. At least it's still released. It came out it came out so short, but I think what ends up I think what ends up happening is because it lands on the fairway, it rolls out more. So because it actually got to the green, then it had more release than if I landed it on the green. That was so close to going in. That would have been kind of nasty. All right, a little bit slow, which I think with this probably kicks into the bunker. Oh, it's a straighter release from that high up. It's a straighter release from that high up. We we had a similar tee shot a little bit shorter on a previous round, and it just had such a hard kick in comparison. Okay. Let's take a little bit off of this. Aim it a little bit out here. It's going to kick up and to the right and hopefully die a nice little uphill putt for us. It's going to be left to right though. Yeah. Okay. It's an uphiller. Five foot, we gotta give it, we gotta give it that pace. We gotta give it that pace. Okay. Trying, I'm, I really am just trying to be more aggressive on those like five foot and in putts. It seems to largely be paying off, but it is definitely a bit nerve wracking for me. Uh, see, the thing that's tough with this, like, you're aiming so far... You're aiming so far out. Like, if we want to be to the left of the hole, this 4-iron, I mean, it's already short on the carry. But, like, I can't go up a club. That's 246. The wind's not going to play enough. But this 4-iron... 227, 229 if we're lucky, but then that wind is going to take us somewhere back into here. I don't know what kind of release we'll get the being uphill, but I think you have to just hope that you can get the green. Ah. 
I'm okay with a little bit fast here. Apparently I was aimed too far out to the left anyway, or the right anyway. Dang. Done heisting today? <laughs> just, just one of those nights, man. Just one of those nights. Sorry, uh, sorry it's gone. Sorry the heisting has gone so poorly. Wait, it's a little bit long. The lie was like almost too good, so it made it very, very difficult to get a gauge of what was going on there. Now this is a five footer as well and downhill, but I think again, we have to, we have to have some sort of aggression. Now we almost go high side there, but I think just at five feet, just take out a little bit of the break, because you can really, if I remember correctly, you can really put a lot of pace into these putts. If you find center cup, and that's obviously the big, the big part of it, but if you find center cup, you could hit it with like eight foot extra power. Ooh, that might be bad. I'll take light rough. Light rough is definitely better. It's not good. It's definitely not good for us here, but. I think you just, oh, look at this lie. I'm gonna play it out right, full backspin. I pulled the crap out of that. Oh no. Go to the other side of the cart path at least. And that was a left side that was a left side pull and then hit it mega fast. All right, let's let's resettle. Let's resettle here. 32 short and wind. So this flop could be not great. So if we go up a club here, 80%, 38. See, this is like closer to pin high than the release. I just get scared. I, I I don't really know. We're in just a terrible spot, so we got to fight our way out of it. I just think regular lob wedge isn't going to get it done. Wow. Okay. I, uh, I didn't think we were going to get full bite out of the heavy rough, so let's try to play that in a way where we release, we release a little bit. Okay, we missed one of these, we missed one of these low, we did miss one of these low. But not this time. Not this time. We're not putting the bogey on the card, at least not yet. Come on, let's keep it clean. Buy myself some new clubs. We're working towards it, man. I gotta get back out and, like, get my swing down, and then... Yeah, I really do want to get some new clubs going once I feel comfortable. Mayor, thank you very, very much for choosing to use your Prime sub over here. Thank you for two months in a row. Hope you continue to enjoy your faces. And hope all is well with you. Of course my backswing pulls and we fast it on this hole of all holes. So the one time where we actually have... Actually, that, uh, yeah, you could probably try something. That's not really one I think you could actually go after too much. So this is okay.
We'll just run this down into the ditch here and try and play a calculated shot up into the upper right echelon here. Working on your business plan, gotta present tomorrow. Nothing like waiting till the final hour. Good old procrastination coming in the clutch. So what? Elevation wise, we're a few yards long. Wind's only gonna play a little bit. So I feel like on this, if I just give it some backspin, I feel like this is one you can probably get up nicely. Uh, that bite, that first bounce is going to be too big for it to bite back. Okay. We're just going to drift this little thing down there. Ah, I just pushed it a little bit out to the right. All right, so we made the eagle on the earlier par five and then make a par here. Unfortunately, obviously, you really want to be birdie the par fives if you can. But we've been, you know, all things considered, we've been fighting our swing pretty well here today. Like, we, we're having our fair share of struggles, but we are also finding swings that work. It's just, when you get off, you know, it can really hurt you. You like to think you work best with the added unnecessary pressure? <laughs> just put it on your resume, like, works well under pressure. Don't explain to them why or what you mean by that. <laughs> Ah, oh, this guy, this guy is great. Yeah, I work on all of my things at the absolute last moment. Huh. <laughs> Skill we absolutely love to see in all of our candidates. I felt like I blocked that one out to the right, and I think we did. Look at that distance control, though. Ah, well, yeah, we found the drive, but you gotta get two in a row, and that's the that's the big thing. That's the big thing. You gotta get two in a row when you're when you're talking about these. Oh, that went low? Still. I'm surprised. I genuinely, I genuinely thought that one was, was breaking a bit less. Alright, not, uh, not fun to have a little par train here on the back. Let's try and at least get to 40. Let's try and at least get to 40. I think, I think 40 should be comfortable. That's, yeah, not good. Not making that easy on me, and we're too far out there to get any sort of kickback. Cool, so I've left myself in a place where now what we're trying to accomplish, and this freaking tree is probably gonna get us in some deep, deep trouble. And now we're like trying to flop out of here. Uh, this is going to be far enough out that we're going to have... Eh, it might be floppable. Might be a pitch. 43, so it is floppable. We're going to have to go sandwich on the flop. Um, I think with the wind and everything, you could probably just play it like a little bit on the backspin.
Oh, mega slow. Okay. Not great. Not great. Not great. Not great. Not great. So I have been chronically low on these. Like, no matter what I think I'm reading, I've been low. I've been low. I've been low. I've been low. So we're going to go out here. That stings. That's that one. That one stings. <laughs> I've been low and then and then miss it just on the high. Like, I, what are you? What are you gonna do about it? I guess. What are you gonna do about it? I guess. All right, we're gonna go pretty far out here to the right. Hopefully this uh, can drift back in for us. It's a nice strike. And we're so far left still. Oh, what is with this, man? Also, that wind ended up playing like 10 yards in our face when all is said and done. So just not having a not having a good sequence here. Not having a good sequence. All right. Well, we wanted to finish at 40, which now I've left myself in a situation where we need to birdie eagle. There's a good strike. A few more of those, please. A few more of those, please. Pair it with some good reads. I think the hard part is like, these winds are playing. These winds are playing stronger. Birdie Eagle Beagle, I need a dog. <laughs> Yo, dog. Little D loft, little little top spin here. Man, why is that like my miss today? I just, uh, there's something, there's something with the, there's just something with the swing that feels uncomfortable sometimes, and when I'm uncomfortable, man, do I let it show. It's just a cruel game. It's just a cruel game. It's like it left us. Like we had a really strong fight and then and then everything left. All of the luck, all of the inputs, or all of the reads. Everything left. We've just been completely left out to dry this this back nine. And the way this wind is, I ah. We actually do have a chance. No. I'd have to hit an overpower to even have a chance at this, I think. Ah, Quincy, thank you for the follow. Oh, frequency. Frequency. Okay. I was like, I took the K and I broke it into two. Frequency, thank you very much for the follow. 
Greatly, greatly appreciate it. So, are we so bold as to take a full backspin shot here and think that it carries further? Or is full backspin, backspin into this wind going to deflate our shot? I don't think it's worth it. Risk it for the biscuit? I just don't know, like, I just don't know what's worth it. You know? I just don't know what's worth it. I'm gonna try the driver off the deck, because that's the only way I think that we get there. More safely, that is. And we slowed it. So we're going to be playing the long flop shot out of the bunker here. I just, yeah, I've lost confidence. We, like, were able to fight with it and, and really get some things to work in the front nine. Created some problems for ourselves down the stretch. If we fully backspin this, let's just, like, theoretically here... I think we need a little bit. So I feel like it'll ricochet off of this down slope and then we'll actually still. I think we can go off of this down slope and still like get this shot to come back. Why am I like this? That's two mega slows in a row. Like, just swing it. All right. Well, this was a horrible end to the tournament. That was just absolutely multiple terrible inputs. I don't really know what happened. But uh, the swing definitely left us. I didn't even hit that hard enough. Nice. 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 That's really cool. Alright, well I wasn't I wasn't kidding when we said we were fighting our swing. That, uh, that ended horribly. Went out really well, came back really, really bad, and, uh, hopefully... I don't think it's enough to put us into demo marks, but it's just... This is what happens when, when your swing leaves you. Plain and simple.